The Hoakam were a prehistoric culture that lived in southern Arizona along the Gila and Salt Rivers from about 1 AD until about 1450 AD. They started making plainware pottery in about 300 AD. By 700 AD, they were making simple red on buff and red on brown decorated pottery. A couple of interesting things about Hoakam pottery. While much of the pottery produced in Southwest was using the coil and scrape method to make pottery, the Hoakam used the more unusual paddle and anvil method, which involved stumping the clay with a flat wooden paddle to thin and compress the clay. This video shows the paddle and anvil method being practiced by Tony Sores. Archaeologists studying the sherds of Hoakam pottery have determined that a large volume of it was made in one central location and traded outward. That area was the largest Holcomb settlement of the time, known today as Snake Town. So much of the red on buff pottery that was used across the Holcomb sphere of influence was being produced right there in the Snake Town area using those buff firing clays and tempered with schist that can be traced to mountains right in that vicinity. Holcomb pottery can be easily recognized for its unpolished red on buff exterior. For the use of animals and human figures dancing or repeated across the motif. They also liked spirals and a form known as the Gila shoulder, which is unique in Southwest prehistory. Some good places to visit and view whole compottery are the Arizona State Museum in Tucson and Pueblo Grande Museum in Phoenix. By the late 1300s, whole come red on buff pottery had gone out of fashion and was replaced by polished redwares, salado polychromes, and red on brown pottery. The whole calm were completely gone by about 1450 AD.